There we go. So we took the old uh, Franken Triarch uh, 17.3 out yesterday to, uh, you know, just get some data on it and play around with it. And, um, and the one thing I haven't done to this one is put a, a zero lock on it or a zero stop. That's all it is. A little fella here. We're going to show you how to put it in. Figure, I'm going to put mine in. Might as well put it on a video and get you guys learning how to do it. So real quick. That's all we're doing. I'm taking this little flathead. You can use a bullet, you know, coin, whatever you got. You spin it till it comes out. It's a crazy concept. And you can tell it's loose there. And just give it a little pull. We're going to take this right here. See the little notch. See the notchy? And on the side of that, you probably can't see it. There's a little notch too that lines up right there on this little guy. So we're just going to spin it on. All the way down. Make sure you spin it all the way down. Take this and take the zero. The zero. We're going to line it up with the, the line. So the zero and the line. All the way down. Screw it back on. Give it a pull. We can adjust this way, but can the zero stop work? Oh, look at that. So this is the whole point of this. You don't ever want to go past zero. Right, if I go all the way up and say I'm dialing, I'm, I'm, I'm 12 or I'm, I'm 15, I'm dialing all the way up, I want to go all the way back down to zero, it will not go past, so I don't have to worry about losing zero on me scope. So that's what the zero stop is for. And that's also how to demonstrate how to use locking turrets too. Same video, two things accomplished. That's it, long and short of it, that's how you install your zero stop. Any questions, come find us, AccuFire Tech on all the socials. Look forward to seeing you guys again. Bye-bye.